Hello, welcome back to Algebra 1. We're going to talk about the degree of a polynomial. It's easier to actually show you this rather than just talk about it. So if you had, for instance, negative 5 times x times y to the fourth power times z to the third power, sometimes on a test you might be asked, what is the degree of this? Now I'm calling it a polynomial. Really this is just a monomial because there's one term. This is one term here. And you want to find the degree of this guy. The degree is basically the sum of the exponents. So here you have a x to the power of 1, and here you have y to the power of 4, z to the power of 3. What you do is you add them up for each term. So for instance, you take the 1 plus the 4 plus the 3, and you're going to get 8. So what this tells you is the degree of this polynomial, or the degree of this monomial, um, is 8. But it's easy in this case because there's really only one term. So when there's only one term like this, you just add the exponents up, and that is what we call the degree. And so just taking another example, if you had negative 10 times x times y times z, if you wanted to find the degree of this, you just add up the exponents of everything. x is raised to the power of 1, y is raised to the power of 1, z is also raised to the power of 1, so the degree is 3. So that's what you would circle. The degree is 3. All right. Um, similarly, if you had n squared times x squared times y squared, to find the degree of this guy, you just add up the exponents because it's just one term. These are all monomials so far, so 2 plus 2 plus 2 uh, is going to give you 6, and that's the degree. It's a 6-degree monomial is how you would write it. Now, so far, it's been very simple because they're all just one term, and so you just add them up. But what if you had a real polynomial? Like this, what if you had 3x squared minus 7x plus 4? All right, so what you do is you, if you want to figure out what the degree is of this polynomial, you see you have now three terms. This is a trinomial, so you have three terms. So you find the degree of this term, and you find the degree of this term, and you find the degree of this term, and then you just figure out which one's largest, and that would be the degree of the entire polynomial. So the way to figure this out is, what is the degree of this term? There's only you know, one guy that has x squared there. So the degree of this first term is just going to be, I'll just put degree of 2, because there's only one uh, variable with an exponent, so there's really nothing to add together. It's just 2. So the degree of this term is 2. What would be the degree of this term? x is just raised to the power of 1, so there's, that's all there is to it. There's nothing to add or anything. The degree of that term is just 1. And the degree of this guy, you might say, what's the degree of this guy? Well, there's nothing there, so the degree of that guy is 0. So now you just look at each of these terms and see which one's biggest. This one is the largest, so what it means is, for the entire polynomial, the degree is 2. So that's how you handle it if you have multiple terms of a polynomial. You just look at each one individually and go from there. So for instance, if we have the polynomial, the binomial, x cubed minus x to the fifth power, what would be the degree of this binomial? Well, you look at each term individually. Here's a term. There's only one variable. The degree is 3. You look at this guy. There's only one variable. The degree is 5. So for the whole thing, it's a fifth degree. Or you say it's uh, the degree is five of that polynomial. All right, it's a pretty simple concept, so we're just going to do one more and call it a day. But this one will be a little more complicated. If we have r squared times s minus 3rs cubed plus 2r cubed s squared plus s to the fourth power. Now this is a polynomial, a true polynomial, because you have one, two, three, four terms, and each term has multiple variables going on, so in order to find the degree of the whole thing, you have to look at each term. What would be the degree of this one? Well, I have r squared, so that's the power of 2, and s here is raised to the power of 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3, so this is degree of 3. What is this one? R, <clears throat> R is raised to the first power, but 3, or S is raised to the third power, so this degree is 4. Just add them together. This degree, you just add them together, 3 plus 2 is 5. And this guy, there's, there's only one thing there, so the degree is 4. And then you just look in your list and see what is the greatest. 5 is the greatest, so uh, the degree is 5. 
for that polynomial. There's really no point in doing any more problems because they're all done the same way. You just look at each term, find the degree of each term as we've done by simple addition and figure out which is the largest. And then you know that it's a fifth degree or a third degree or fifth degree or, or sixth degree or whatever it is polynomial that you're dealing with. Most polynomials in real life that you study are going to be second, third, maybe fourth degree. Um, it's pretty rare to have something meaningful um, outside of an algebra class that's going to have like a ten, 10 degrees to it or something like that. But that's not saying it's not important. It's just I'm just giving you my observation. Make sure you understand what this concept is. Follow me on to the next section. We're going to be talking about polynomials pretty much from here on out to the end of, of this class. And so get used to the idea and follow me on to the next lesson. We'll continue talking about polynomials and algebra.